Hello everyone. As you can see, I've harvested the dog vomit slime mold and I'm getting ready to cook it in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm now gonna cook the slime mold and, and see how palatable I can make it. I've, this is, I think, the first time I've eaten it. I've heard it's edible, uh, but I'm gonna give it a good cooking just to make sure to kill the whole thing because it's essentially a giant amoeba. We'll just add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil so it doesn't stick to the pan. Now some, some pepper. Gonna add some garlic salt. Okay, it is cooking away. Okay, it is pretty much done. Okay, I've now plated the dog vomit slime mold and we're gonna give it a try. Mm. Very earthy, fungal. Um, actually tastes a little bit like lawn, like grass. A little bit like egg, or not, I mean, it doesn't taste like egg, but the consistency is like scrambled egg. It's got a little bit of a crunch to it on the outside because I, I give it a good, uh, a good toasting. I'm not sure the cilantro really complements the, the grass flavor. Um, but very, very interesting. Um, I'm not sure it would be my, the, the first thing I would order on a gourmet menu, but um, if you've got the, the dog vomit slime mold growing readily, uh, there's no reason not to eat it. It's very delicious. Of course, if it starts growing inside my intestines and uh, kills me in a week, um, I will take back, walk back that statement, but I give it a thumbs up.